Hey guys, welcome to My Airbags. I'm Eli, and we just got done removing the SRS airbag control module on this Toyota Corolla. If you need help locating and removing that module, just look inside our channel or check out myairbags.com. Now we're going to go ahead and show you step-by-step step how to remove and replace the seatbelt pretensioner. Both sides deploy after an accident, the driver's side and the passenger side. You need to replace the seatbelt in order for the airbag system to function new again. In order to do that, you can replace it with brand new or as an alternative here at My Airbags, we can also go ahead and refurbish the seatbelt back to its original design and function. That means that after it's rebuilt, the seatbelts will work as designed it will deploy in another accident event. We also offer another service on this webbing here. You can change out the color, or if it's frayed or torn, we can also repair it with its original color that you have on there, or you can go ahead and replace the color with many of our other options that we have available on myairbags.com. The first step is going to be here on the pillar panel. You wanna get between the lining here and this panel here. You can use a flat bar or a large screwdriver to get right between and pull up the clips. Once we have this top piece here loosened up, we need to do the work here at the foot panel. And as you can see, this panel here goes on the top of the panel that we need released. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this one here up front and also one in the back seat as well. You don't need to remove it completely, just enough so this piece here is freed up. And then here in the back seat, we're going to go ahead and do the same exact procedure. Now once we have that panel removed, we can clearly see the seatbelt pretensioner unit right here on the pillar. It's mounted right over here on this bolt and this bolt. And you can clearly see it has one plug here. This means that this seatbelt is a single stage seatbelt. There's only one part that deploys and holds the passenger in place. At this point, before we do any work with the seatbelt, we wanna make sure the battery is disconnected. We don't want any power going into the car while we're working on the airbags the module especially, and the seatbelts. The next step to so go ahead and remove the pretensioner is to disconnect the plug first, the wire harness up here, then the bolts. There's one right behind here, one over here, and another one way down below right here behind this plastic cover. And the last remaining bolts holding down this pretensioner is right over here. These little bolts here hold down the panel here and for the pretensioner there's one silver bolt holding it down up here which you can access once this has been lifted up. When a car gets into an accident there's three main components that need to be addressed. The airbags, the airbag computer module, and the seatbelts. Any deployed airbags must be replaced with new airbags. You can buy a new airbag module. The problem is that they're pretty expensive brand new and used modules require a hiring a technician to go in and program the module to your car. In other words, you have to marry the new module to your car. Here at MeyerBags.com, we work closely with body shops, collision shops, and salvage rebuilders in all 50 states. Instead of buying a new airbag module, we can actually reset your original airbag module. In other words, we can clear it of all codes and because it's original to your car, programming is not necessary. Number three, seatbelts. Seatbelts also deploy and they throw a trouble code. Instead of buying expensive replacements, you can actually send in your deployed seatbelts along with your module. Our seatbelt techs are licensed and they hold an ATF certification. This means that after your seatbelts are refurbished, they will work again as designed they will deploy in another accident event. If you wanna know more, just click on the link in the description below or just go to myairbags.com. 
After removing the airbag module and seat belts, you can send it to MeyerBags.com for reset. Go to MeyerBags.com, select your year, make, and model, then add the repair service to your cart. Print the label in your order, tape it to the box, and drop it off at any delivery location. If you need seat belts or any other SRS parts repaired, you can send them in the same package and order. You won't be charged until after My Airbags has reset your module and seat belts. Once we receive your module and seat belts, our turnaround time is 24 hours. We get them in and out.